When I tell you the boy's got his own money, the boy has got his own money. Golden Tate's got the first down and more. Tate, 45, right sideline. Golden Tate with it. He's got the first down. Down to the 17-yard line. So I got Golden Tate out there. He's open and he's gone. Touchdown, Detroit Lions. And so, Golden Tate took it home. They're right back. Who is Golden Tate off the field? That's what I'm more interested in. Who is Golden Tate? You know, um, I like to think I'm a very respectful, loving person. I grew up in the South. I love to fish. I think after, after I'm done with football, I'm going to be a professional fisherman. Really? Fast fish. Will you teach me how to how to fish? Because I want to be able to provide for my family. Yeah, I can teach you how to fish, but I, I wouldn't start with deep sea fishing. I start with, you know, uh, maybe a private lake where your first experience is you're catching a bunch of fish, so you kind of get hooked on it. Keep it simple. Find us some fish that we can eat. Like you right know, there on the spot? No, no, not on the spot. Oh, oh, no, like cave, man. Sushima, <laughs> no. <laughs> like, you know, scale it, take the insides out. You know, throw it in some cornmeal, season it, and fry yeah. it. You know, have some spaghetti. You really are from the South. Yeah. But you lost a little bit of that luster because I did hear you slide in a private lake. Everybody doesn't have access to a private lake, so clearly you're now big time. I don't have uh, access to a private lake, but you are a first-class gentleman, so I want to take care of my guests, so I'm going to go for the best. Okay. To take care of you to make sure you have a good time. So that was kind of my thought process. Okay. I've never even been on the private lake, but hey, looking <laughs> but at that outfit. But you've been on a private jet, though. I have, but I yeah. didn't. Oh, so I mean, but now, how many people can however, say they've been on a private jet? However, this was, I was invited. <laughs> I did not purchase it. But there is a great app, though, Jet Smarter, if you ever are interested in getting on a private jet. Great prices, and it's, it's a cool app. It's like See, an Uber for jets. Only big time people know about that. So, no, seriously. Nope. Again, you're wrong. I found out at the Golden Globes suite. Okay, but everybody doesn't hang out at the Golden Globes suite. Okay, so you have truly embraced your celebrity status. Do you feel like a celebrity now? Your name is Golden Tate. By um, the way, that's a, that's a heck of a celebrity name. Thank you. You know, featuring Golden like, Tate. It is kind of catchy, huh? Yeah. You know. I do understand the stardom, but I feel lucky and blessed to be in a situation, so I, I, I try never to get caught up with taking for granted. Where'd you learn that humility? Because that's that doesn't come out of every player's mouth. My parents, I think they were a staple of, of who I am today, um, being there always for me and, and always striving, you know, pushing me to be the best. I don't think the amount of money I have in my pocket or, uh, you know, the clothes I put on de determines the type of man I am. I think uh, the strength in God I have and how I try to live through him is, is what kind of does that. And I'm not trying to sit here and tell anyone to, to believe in him or not to believe in him. It's just what I do and what I think works for me. Are you in love now? Yes, yes. Okay. How long have you been dating? Uh, four years. The pressure is, is, is on. I'm very, very happy. I'm, I'm lucky to find a girl that I think loves me for who I am, has had my back since the day that uh, she's met me, will do a lot of things for me, and, and that's something I think athletes like us struggle with. It's, it's hard to find someone who wants you for you, the person you are. When are you going to propose? All right. Uh, you can tell, we're, we're breaking this right now. When are you going to go propose? I, I don't know when the time comes, you know. I'm, like, How do you, I'm, I mean, don't you determine that time? Yes, uh, but we're still we're still <laughs> growing we're still growing as a couple. We're, now you know, you're a receiver now, no backpedaling now. You're a receiver, no backpedaling. <laughs> hey, we're we're still growing. We're we're getting there. Faith will unwind as it must. It's Beowulf. I like that. <laughs> what has been the most or, or the oddest experience you've had with a fan? Someone asked me to kiss a baby, and I was like, I'm not the Pope here. Okay, <laughs> I'm, I'm just. I'm just a modest kid. In college, I had I had a guy um, love Notre Dame. He wanted me to sign his arm, and then next week I saw him out, and he was like, "Hey, look at look at this." And he had it tattooed of your autograph. Yeah, and I gave him like my like C autograph. It wasn't like my A. Like, yeah. He was like, mm, mm, mm. I "Think he's gonna wash it off?" And sure enough, he comes back with with a tattoo. I wonder if he still has it. <laughs> Golden Tate, man, this was fun. This is a good interview. I love this one right here, man. Thank you so much, man.